We're at the cottage on Torch for a week, and I have a funny story, but I'm also doing something funny too. My funny story is we brought one of those, like, you can see it right there, that stake anchor thing that we're gonna use to put in the sand to hold the swim mat, whatever. So I had that in my trunk, and when we pulled into the driveway, there's like a little dip, and I sort of went, mm, like that, and my trunk opened. What the heck? That anchor just happened to be lining up with the emergency exit thing in my truck and popped it when we got here. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is uh, setting up the zip line. I'm gonna use the Denali trailer hitch with a toe strap to the thing to pull it tight. I have to say that went a lot less exciting than I thought it would be. That's tight though. And I still haven't done the tension thing yet. It's gonna be sweet. Tight, like. My mom's about to catch fish. Uh huh. Guys, um, go to see a lake. There's a lake going out there. Can you see that guy? Can you see that? So I can set this up and then you can watch me. I'll jump in the lake and you can watch me in the lake. The lake. My grandma's house. And I'm at it right now. So we were just playing a drone. Dave's Bar and Grill, Torch Lake Sandbar. So I don't wear like shirts that say like Old Navy or something. I, I just don't like that. But I will wear a shirt for like an event or a place or something like that. The other thing is I have all these shirts that I got from like Meyer or Walmart or whatever for like four bucks, five bucks. If I see a size small t-shirt for four or five bucks, I always buy it. I don't know, that's just my thing. Car beeps every time. Laura contends that somebody that's my age should not exclusively wear clothing that they buy for less than five dollars or from somebody on a boat or a car show. I think that that's ridiculous. Hello? Hello, what kind of day are you having? A shitty one, what kind of day are you having? Uh, it'll be better in a little while when I go out to the boat. <laughs> What's up? Um, well, as you probably, maybe you know or maybe you don't know, but uh, the they curve. killed it. Yep, he said it'll be announced later, so don't tell yeah, anybody or something. That's a bummer. We're, we're, Yep, he says, uh, hey, I'm passing this along between us today before it becomes public news yeah. later. Yeah, well, we were talking about it this week. And uh, obviously, I was at the Torch Lake Sandbar on the 4th of July, and obviously, if I have COVID, I don't have any symptoms, but I am going to get a COVID test, and I personally, I don't know, I guess I have a lot of feelings about this, but I don't know. I won't go into that. I'm going to go get this test, and then however long it takes, then I'll know whether or not I have COVID. If I do, I would say there's no chance that I got it on the sandbar. At Rite Aid, been here waiting 13 minutes. Everyone, I'm probably getting COVID sitting here. Okay, six, seven, eight, 12, 13. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Thank you. I've never wanted hand sanitizer more in my life. This is glasses cleaner. This is even hand sanitizer. I have 15 different kinds of glasses cleaner in here and no hand sanitizer. <laughs> All right, so the last video I uploaded before this one was the Torch Lake 4th of July sandbar video. And 
I edited all of this video and I forgot to like shoot anything with the results. So a few days after I took the COVID test, I think it only took like two or three days, uh, I got my results and I don't have COVID because I don't know why. I guess because I was socially distancing or something. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of opinions and thoughts on this, but I don't think that YouTube is the place to share them. So that's that.